Schneider. Eloquence. Speaking. Before Alteberry's Mountains, the gauntlet runner sets upon the murky graveyard. The colossal bridges overhead are an impressive sight. During the Annex War, this land was a fierce battleground. Many soldiers, unable to return to their loved ones, found their final rest here. But few honor the dead. Their spirits take no solace. Their tragic remains are desecrated by wild dogs, leaving their bones exposed to the elements. Just look at it! Well then. That's my fault. Alterbury Heights, capital of the Principality of Montario, the eastmost country annexed into the Kingdom of Ucronia. The mountain path leading to the city begins near the coastline but few gauntlet runners can contend against its steep slope. Those who complete the arduous climb are rewarded. City lights, dusted with snow, twinkle beautifully in the valley. But what awaits the party there is no reward, but their greatest trial thus far. The hour of reckoning draws near, and they steal themselves anew. The seat of Sanctism, Alterbury. Truly, I never thought I would see it in person. What is that giant structure? The monolith. In Sanctus scripture, they tell of how the stone was shaped by God's own hand. It's afloat. I'd only heard rumors that it didn't touch the ground, but to see it now. Finally moving again. <laughs> Just another trip for our songstress. Oh, we're here at last. Well done. So this is the Lance of Legend, is it? I am called Euphasia, Priestess of the Island. For personal reasons, I have joined them on their journey. You do not detest me? I owe my life to them, and I understand they operate under your guidance. Indeed. I had heard you were able to obtain the Lance without incurring the Islander's hatred. Quite a feat, 
now that I know it to be true. Well done. At last, it seems that even fate has abandoned Fortin. Thanks to you, I was spared the effort of sifting through ashes to find this. If the islanders could not be persuaded, my next course would have been to raise their village to the ground. The Caradrius's batteries would make that a fairly simple task. What? Hmm? Why are you surprised? At times, sacrifice is necessary to save the many. Was that not the exact reasoning by which your countrymen would have seen you die? Sure. Have the lance brought to my chamber later. Thank you for your hard work in spite of your need. Take care of yourselves. Now we need only to wait until tomorrow for the Saints' Day Festival. The whole event will be held over two days at the Opera House. The first day is the eve of the festival, and I'm scheduled to sing. Hope you're looking forward to it. Main festivity starts on the second day. That's when all these divine relics will be dedicated and sealed. It's aimed at proving beyond a doubt that Sanctism is the highest authority. All kind of daft though, isn't it? If they were that confident in their scriptures, you'd think they wouldn't have to bother with all that. This is where Forden dies. He and Sanctism itself. At the very least, it's worth giving him a memorable end. Lord Louise, I do hope you'll come and watch me sing this time. We missed you at the opening ceremony. If you're not there, it'll hardly be worth it. You needn't worry. Having come all this way, it would be a waste not to show. Well, I'm off to check out the Opera House. Want to make sure everything's ship shaped for my solo, of course. The rest is up to you. You have all performed admirably. You exceeded my every expectation. Soon, Forden's reign will come crashing down. From this point onward, I would have you forfeit the competition and dedicate yourself fully to my campaign. Understood. For now, rest your wings a while. Tomorrow's festivities will be a grand show indeed. It seems the lands passed muster. Nuras is a peerless craftsman, if not else. <sighs> Yufa? Are you okay? He would have... He would have destroyed my home. How could he suggest such carnage with not a shade of guilt? I was sure that deep down, all people are inherently good at heart. But now... You made it sound like you were bound to kill him at any cost. And now I understand why. I see. Then let's get back on track and go find ourselves an inn. You've got more supporters now. I dare say we'll find better lodging than we could before. I wouldn't be so sure. This city's in the palm of Forden's hand, and we're the ones who humiliated him during the exhibition. All the same, we're about to do something big. To be honest, I'll take anywhere, so long as I can stretch out. Uh, it's cold. Yeah, I'm freezing my wings off. Uh, then why don't we look for an inn run by a Mustari? I thought this city was the seat of the church. In times before the church, it said many diverse faiths and teachings took root in this city. That's why Montario is the only mainland nation that trades with the islands. Indeed. My grandfather often said that until his generation, the only prominent building of the Sanctus Church was that opera house. Though the prevailing story now, of course, is that Sanctism reclaimed this land from malevolent pagans. Either way, I'm certain there should be quite a few Mustari who feign conversion and live in seclusion. If one of these Mustarians really exists, 
It may work in our favor. Let's look for it. Speaking of... Certainly. All right, where to? Well met, eh? <laughs> Don't miss your chance to sell now. All right, then. Food, young time in town. of youths with a knight and a ugeef. Are you perhaps the candidate who brought Joanna the Sanctares to confess? One glance and you knew. Listen, we just... I don't care if you did the deed or not, but please take your business elsewhere. I'm sorry, but I have my own reputation to think about. You follow Sanctism's teachings? You? A mustari who wears no mask? I'm Euphasia. I'm the priestess of Virga. No, of Edria. The priestess? Impossible! The island priestess would never leave the village behind. I have my reasons, but I wish to see the outside world that I might better protect our island. I have no proof, but... You would raise another tribe to the throne. Tis a longer story than we've time to tell. We only wish to avoid a tyrant's reign. Yet tis not from our own ambition that I speak so. But if you insist, we will leave. Uh, it's just... You look so like the priestess before you, I can't just turn you away. Fine. You can stay here, as long as you don't make trouble for me. Thank you. I suppose it is easier to understand each other without the masks in the way. Not all of us mainland Mistari hate the Sanctus Church. We'd rather preserve the peace we have. And, well, 
It's a sorry excuse for an innkeeper who turns away travelers. Thank you. We're in your debt. Oh, look, they've got food and booze here too. And it's so much cooler, which means fewer bucks. Perfect. It seems they have an imitation of the island spring here. We can bathe. I should invite Juno when she's back. Bathe? <coughs> You'd be mad to hope a hot spring replica could take the edge off this chill. Cold or not, there's nothing more refreshing than bathing. Would you care to join us? I... I should think not. For reasons too numerous to count. Why? Anyway, strategy meeting. Let's get on with it. So we seek to assassinate Luis. A difficult task. But you look to have an idea. Let's have it. First, the when. Under normal circumstances, we'd want to get him on the move. Maybe walking through a crowd while he's got less guards. That would be the plan. But unfortunately, that'd only work if he was someone with common sense. Someone without combat ability. Or someone who'd want to avoid collateral damage. And that isn't Luis. Worst case, he uses civilians as shields while more of his personal guard catch up, and things go sideways before we can get it done. But once he's inside the Opera House, he'll have a security detail at his beck and call. Even if we can sneak in, getting to him... If we can't target him in transit, and we've practically zero chance of getting close to him, that leaves us with only one option. we join his personal guard ourselves. I considered that, but it might be tricky. We can't guarantee he'd allow it, and... The real lance is overflowing with Magla. It would be a dangerous gamble to keep it on hand. That sort of power is easily noticed. Maybe if we use magic to attack him? No, it's gotta be the lit. But it's true that we'd be better served by an attack at long range. We attack from a distance. Exactly. A bow and arrow isn't going to do much good, right? It needs to be the lance. Of course. So, what if we threw the lance, pierced him through from a distance? Yufa, as the priestess, you can command the lance to return to you if it's far away, right? You would have me use that power in reverse to cast it out instead. According to Juna, the ceiling of the Opera House has a chandelier big enough to support a person. From above, we'll target Luis in the royal box seats. You realize the entire audience is below that lighting? A stunt like that would get us noticed instantly. Wait, are you suggesting we do this during the show? Luis would be distracted. It's the best opportunity we could ask for. Besides, with you for there, we can even recover the lance easily. Hold a moment. I would need to launch it like an arrow. Such distance and such speed would require incredible focus. I, I don't think I could do it while aiming. Then just concentrate on the sheer mental force of it. Someone else can take over the role of actually throwing. This gambit is sounding more far-fetched by the moment. But we also can't afford to wait for another opportunity. There is no other opportunity. Luis intends to kill Forden during the festival. That means if we do nothing, the fake will be exposed, and so will we. Indeed. Once our betrayal is made plain, we will never find a way to draw close to him again. This will likely be our first and last opportunity. But who's actually going to do the throwing? I'd rather leave it to you. With the royal magic protecting you, it's less likely that we'll fail this, even with interference. <sighs> Laugh, if you like. I know it sounds silly, but... I really do believe you have the power to change fate itself. <laughs> Indeed. Everyone here knows that firsthand. I feel the same. 
If I can trust you to do it, then I should be able to do my part as well. Will you do it, Captain? All right. I'll do it. Thanks. On the day of, Juna will be at the venue ahead of us. We'll have her open the service entrance, and we'll infiltrate from there. Is there anything I can do to help? I want you to lure Luis's guards outside and cause a commotion while he's making the throw. I'm sure the Magnus brothers will be guarding the place too. Hulkenberg and I will secure the exit route in advance. Luis is a formidable foe. But we've overcome plenty of obstacles. Let's believe in the strength that got us this far. All right, then. Good night. Hmm. What's wrong, Del? You've been quiet for a while now. That lance they handed over... You think it's real? Can't say for certain, but I didn't feel any magla flowing through it. Can't see it exactly, but... How do I explain it? <sighs> I know what you mean, though. The Mustari got them third eyes that can see magla, right? Hard to believe they'd worship that thing as a relic. Then maybe... You think they made some kind of fake? Even in that short time on the island? Shite. How'd they? Either way, we have to tell Lord Luis. Ugh, no need. He'll have noticed by now, most likely. Not like they're any real threat to him, anyway. Most likely? That good enough for you, brother? Hmm. Del. You remember they talked all that helping anyone in need? Something like that, anyway. Seemed proper daft at first. Seemed naive to act like that kind of thinking could actually fix all the broken, cruel, unjust shite in the world. That's because it can't. Well, yeah, obviously, but... What was it we actually wanted in the first place? Equality? Or justice? This lot's working towards the future, and God help me, I started seeing it. Maybe what they're fighting for is something better than what Lord... That's enough, Baz. Joke or not, you'll get yourself killed. But them not even helped you out a few times, Del. That really impressed me, like... I don't know how to say it, but... It was like a feeling I haven't felt since we started working for the Count. You know Lord Louis plans to take Forden out during the Saints' Day Festival. Neither of us can afford to get distracted right now. Suppose you're right. Things are about to get messy. Mm. So that is the side they serve. Let us teach them that even the best laid plans will go awry. Whether Forden's or our fallen king's. It was splendid entertainment while it lasted. However, the revelry ends here. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The Saints' Day festivities in Alterbury will be kicking off very soon. On the eve of the festival, we'll be holding a dedication ceremony. On the church's authority, we'll be offering the gathered divine relics to God. And it sounds like the candidates had a tough time this go around. Lots of new info coming in, even as I speak. From candidate Rudolph, a legendary nail thought lost to history. From candidate Julian, 
Can you believe it? Cloth garb said to have been worn by a saint. We've got artifacts of all kinds pulled from obscurity into the public eye. Archaeologists everywhere are positively vibrating, folks. But the news on everyone's lips is the announcement of Count Luis's unofficial participation. As a matter of fact, a candidate working under Luis has reportedly acquired a phenomenal divine relic from a mysterious and exotic island. Meanwhile, candidate Forden too may have claimed what is said to be the most glorious relic in history. Will we finally see a head-to-head -head competition between our top candidates? Oh. So Luis has finally made his move. Won't take him that long to catch up, I bet. Yes, but I also can't imagine Sanctifex Forden losing. We're about to see a clash of giants. This will be no mine about, that's for certain. Right. That's everyone. Let's go over the plan one last time. First, infiltration. June has got full rights to be in the venue, so she'll unlock the service door for us to sneak in. When it's time, I'll call the guards outside. That'll be your window to sneak in. Gallica, you and Yufa. You three will head to the rooftop, where you'll get down to the chandelier. When I start my solo on stage, the lights will dim. That should be enough cover to hide whatever you're doing. Don't worry, I'll be with you. As for us, it's just as I explained last night. Luis said destroying Yufa's home would have been a necessary sacrifice. Like mine. If power's all he thinks will change the world, then we'll use power to stop him. Should we fail, though we may survive the ordeal, we will have no more leads to pursue. This will surely mark our final mission. You know, I've been trying to keep from dwelling, but I can't help but think of Grius. Sorry to bring that up now. Even I have my fears. But let us remember him only by his truest wish. We'll make sure this succeeds. For a world without tyrants. Well, see you at the show. So begins our last mission, then. Let's get whatever we need to prepare and head over to the Opera House. Right. It'll be okay. Oi! Now what am I to do? Right now. New skills, new possibilities. I found new power. New skills, new possibilities. All right, then. Let's go! You're not serious. Oh, how grand. How grand. <laughs> Huh. I won't let it stand. Oh, you. Hmm. You. Oh, Check this out.
Got it. Onward. Oh, 
Help me out of a jam. What? Much gratitude to you. It's okay. <sighs>
What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I want to say... Come forth, royal soul! Nice! You disgrace the scientist way. Come forth now! I'm this sorry if you seize my chance! Take this! <laughs>
происходит? We can make short work of them. Come forth, royal soul. I am in I can do this. Let us combine our powers. It is your turn. Do to the end. Let's take soul You disgrace the sanctest way. Heed me. Closure. Let's do this. Nice going. This is gone. Judgment. I won't lose. That is a compliment. Pray you're ready. this from the church's vaults in antiquity. God, in his omniscience, is said to have imbued it with his essence, giving it the power to make wishes come true. And how did such a glorious relic come into your hands? We simply preached his holy works and spread the teachings. Mutual dialogue was what won the day. Through guided prayer, anyone can be saved and we may see God's blessing in all things. Just incredible! But if anyone could do it, it's Sanctifex Forden! I think it's obvious who the winner is. I suppose that marks his eminence Forden as the sole winner. Even to an amateur's eye, no other relic could compete. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Sanctifex Borden. Now, continuing on. Wait, Forden was last to present? That's not right. We've not seen Eurys yet, or the island team. Is there an issue? No. I think we're finally having a show end without incident. After all, these were originally Sanctus relics anyway. <clears throat> well, uh, it looks like that's all the divine relics our candidates found across the land. The top ranking faces will be announced during tomorrow's festivities. And now, it is my distinct honor to present a one act opera for a saint's eve to remember. Please join me in welcoming the diva herself. Juna for a performance of the opera's opening piece. Ladies and gents, enjoy! Well, Louise, rumor has it you found yourself quite a relic. Then why are you so reluctant to present it? <laughs> no matter. The race's outcome is beyond your meddling now. Victory is mine. Here. 
I think we can get down onto that massive chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Our escape route is secure. We should be able to flee undetected. Good. Everything's going according to plan so far. But time's running out. From here on, it's all up to him. All will be fine. Okay. It's finally time to end this. Juna's song is about to start. From my fingertip flies a butterfly. How it pines for the moon up high. Fire calls its name. Fly to the flame, burning as free as it can be. <laughs> Out there, deep and dark in the valley mist. Focus. You I only get one shot at this. Gentlemen, what an honor! That was our kingdom's lovely songstress, Juna. Moving right along. Okay. Um, it didn't work. Come back. Hail! Taking that into account. Do to Chris. Hey! Hurry! Why do you dawdle? Did you get him? We do not know why, but the lance... Should we withdraw to retrieve it? Or make our escape. <sighs> Lost a lance. Perhaps it's this one. At last your allegiance is laid bare. And if this lance wounded me, then I take it the one you provided me was a mere imitation. If you know what the lance is capable of, and surely you understand the situation. Your last hope is gone. No. It seems a shame to kill you, but I'm afraid you've gone too far. I have no intention of surrendering, nor of wavering in my convictions. At 
being said, you truly have impressed me. I will allow you some final words, if you have any. <sighs> Say it! I see your performance has come to an end, Juna. Yes, the curtain falls. I'm no longer your songbird to keep caged. <laughs> so, you too stood with them. Come on! He's ready to listen, so say it! You know there's something he needs to hear. Ruiz, I challenge you to a duel! Ah. The very words I was waiting for. You really have done your research. In truth, I intended from the start to entertain such a challenge. I confess it's been a long time. Perhaps a real contest is what I've craved. So be it. It has been a long time indeed since anyone drew my blood. I will end your life with my own hand. Then it's to be a direct confrontation after all. As though it was fate all along. A duel makes the king's magic powerless, which means this trinket is no longer necessary. Then state your name! How do you declare yourself? I am the hero. The savior of this country! You would save it, would you? I hope that dream does not end in futility. My name is Luis Guirburn. I am the rightful king, he who will forge anew this unworthy country into a utopia. Attack in any number, wield any weapons. But fight with your very lives. If you live by a creed, show me its strength. Attempt on the life of Louis Squeerburn is a folly most cannot afford. We've come this far. Let's fight with all we have, Captain. Luis, I will make an end of you here. I should expect no less by a duel's code. So be it. This is our mission. We'll see justice done. I'm all prepared. Hear it now. Coordination is key! Let's do this! This may be your only chance. I pray you're ready. This I ask of your aid. There's another summoner. Come forth now. That one looks like you you're prepared. Nice going, Yuba. Let's do this! Untamed magic! Bear witness! I strike to kill! I strike to kill! I strike to kill! Uh, looks like we can't brute force this one. Not this one. Behold! We stand together! Let's go! Yeah. Lend me your strength. I'm counting on you. No holding back. Still here? This is strength. I strike to kill. I strike to kill. I strike to kill. I strike to kill. Oh, souls of kings, give me strength for this! I can't afford to hold General! Tougher than I thought! 
Interesting. Let us fight as one. Interfere! You falter even now. Enough, I'm afraid. A fine blow. You surprised me. But why? Why are you so intent on killing me? You of all people should know the answer. I see now. You were the intruders looking for the formula, I take it. And yet, you have achieved nothing. What do you mean? Untouchable traitor, Luis Guiaburn. Is apologies. Things fell apart at the end, and I wasn't thinking straight. Even so, the outcome is the same. We could not have triumphed without everyone here. Wait! It's good that we got him at all, but the lance. Ah, uh, yes! It went down with him. This looks dire. He's fallen in the middle of the stage. If Forden spies Luis's body run through with a lance, he'll realize its power in an instant. Even should we save the prince, we'll regret it if Forden ends up with the lance. Yufa, can you call it up? No. Too late for that. It's already in the middle of the crowd. If we call it up and take it with no explanation, everyone will think us thieves. Then what do you propose? First, we need to establish that the lance is ours. Our offering for the ceremony. 
We'll have to take the stage and announce that ourselves. Please, wait. Do we reveal that we are the ones who slew Luis? Can we afford to declare that openly? We'd be telling your supporters you deceived them and your master both. She's right! The audience has no idea what's going on! We'll just look like the bad guys! It's okay. We set out to kill Luis, and the deed is done. Our only failure is in the spectacle we made of it. For now, we need to think of a way to get the audience to see our side. You want to win their sympathy? What are you even planning to say? I don't know. But we have to get on stage, now. If we don't explain ourselves fast, we'll never get a chance to. Wait a minute! Hey! I know that face! Was that Louise? Someone go and see to him! Is he truly dead? Allow me. Lord Louise, no! He's dead! He's gone! Your Eminence, this was found off stage. Judging by his wounds, this must have been the murder weapon. The lance. Is this the divine relic he sent his subordinates after? His eyes are sightless. His heart beats no more. The man is dead. Without question. You're absolutely certain. I checked him thrice over. There can be no more doubt. This lance can pierce the barrier of the king's magic. I apologize for the grotesque display interrupting tonight's performance. We are What? You claim this lance? You mean to say you were the ones who did the deed? Yes. It is as you say. God above! How do you justify this? Years ago, Luis ordered my hometown destroyed. Hulkenberg, our ally before you, was herself a royal guard in service to his late highness. Even the songstress, Juna, aided us on several occasions. Above all else, we are a group who came together to try Luis for his crimes, traitor and kingslayer both. And to do that, we had to enter his company. We took no joy in disguising our true intentions, not from your eminence, nor the people. But today, finally, we have seen justice done. Luis has paid for his sins, and at last, at long last, my parents can rest in peace. I had not realized you were such an actor. <sighs> or do you truly weep? It's just hitting me now. We finally won. That explains why the songstress was so often with Luis. I understand. It all makes sense now. I had wondered why a member of the Prince's own guard would fall in with Luis. You have done well to execute the rebel. I am sure that His Late Majesty and His Highness must be pleased. And of course, the Sanctus Church recognizes your divine relic. Now we shall greet tomorrow's festivities with fresh peace in our hearts. Thank you, Your Eminence. 
You must be the Lady Hulkenberg. The day His Highness was attacked, I heard you fought harder than any other. Your blade even struck the back of the blackguard who did it. Of all his defenders, you came closest to avenging the Prince. But where you fought her then, you triumphed today. In form and heart, you are a true knight. <sighs> Is something the matter? Oh, no. You honor me greatly, Your Eminence. Now, this lance. The Sanctus Church will confiscate it for now. A lance capable of killing the tournament's candidates would only sow panic and chaos. Yes, as you wish. We brought it as an offering anyway. Indeed. You may step down now. Think you can just walk away, do ya? You owe us a moment or three. Right. So you lot were working against us from the start. And you right along with them, Lady Juna. What was your motive? Why did you kill Lord Luis? If this was truly a matter of justice and not simply petty revenge, then we owe it to them to explain why we have taken their guiding force. They deserve that much. Captain, do you not agree? All right. It's time for the truth. I am sorry if I'm overstepping my mark. I know I'm but the latest to become your ally, but... No, you speak the truth. We have sought to save the rightful heir to the throne. To break the curse afflicting His Highness the Prince. What's that? The Prince? He's dead, mate. Wait, he is dead, isn't he? He's dead, all right. You lot will need a better story than that if you don't want to get cut open where you stand. He had to be declared dead in order to protect him. Though he lives, he is bedridden, cursed by magic. And the only way left to undo that curse was to kill Luis. Those of us who wanted the prince restored formed a secret faction. And I was a spy in its service, trying to find out if we had any option beyond murder. I cannot expect you to understand all this immediately. However... You did this for the Prince! His father, the King, was a coward! Puppet of Forden! It was because of him that this country rotted from the inside! And for his son! For his bloody, useless corpse of a son! What made you think his life was worth more than Count Luis? Worth more? I thought you two hated when people tell you any life weighs more than another. I myself have never met His Highness, nor do I know what sort of person he is. But I want to see the future these people believe in. Despite our many differences of tribe and status, we still banded together. Through them, I saw the possibility of a world united. Besides, when Luis talked about burning down my island, I thought I saw the shock and despair on your faces too. Look, you two. Was Luis really a master worth your trust? I think it's worth listening to your hearts now. Even the doubts. I know we'd be happy to have you. Hold a moment. These two were Luis's right-hand men. I would advise against this. No, their hearts are as loyal as any of ours. They but served another master. Lady Juna. Uh, uh, I guess you really were watching out for us. More than we ever knew. 
I couldn't protect Basilio when it mattered most. They put him through so much for their sodden igniter experiments, and and now protecting him's all I've got. Del. Maybe it is time to step back, get away from this bloody business. <laughs> I guess this was all it took. Count Luis gave us a dream to fight for, but I, I suppose it was the kind that doesn't feel right after you wake. So, we're drifters now. Maybe we'll open up that restaurant after all, eh? We'll see you around, Lady Juna. Look, I... I'm not the smart one, you lot know that, so I don't know whether to punch you or thank you. I've never been this confused in all my life. Damn it, I just don't get it. Damn it! Oh, Del, wait! Don't you wander off like that! You mean all that about the restaurant, yeah? Never could say what you were feeling. I'm sorry this was all I could do. Ah, Captain, let us tarry no more. We must check His Highness's condition. Yes, you're right! That should have lifted the curse! haven't disappeared. But the caster is dead. Forden and his guard were sure to check Luis's body. Calm down, everyone. We don't want to yell about this in public. Let's go back to the inn for now. His Highness still suffers under the curse. But Luis is dead. I cannot fathom it. Maybe we killed a fake. Like his body double. Or something. No. There's no way that wasn't Luis. We couldn't fight him in person and still be mistaken. And Luis would have nothing to gain from faking his death, surely. After all, it put the lance in Forden's hands. Knowing all that, might the curse have been cast by someone else entirely? But that would mean... We killed an innocent person, wouldn't it? That bastard was no innocent. He destroyed my home. He murdered the king. And... True enough, old boy. But that's not why we were out to kill the chap, eh? He said it himself. That killing him accomplished nothing. Was it really true? Yet he had the formula for the curse in his possession. Surely that marks his guilt? Even so, there remains a modicum of doubt in the matter. Perhaps Luis was researching the curse for another reason. If he was framed, it is possible he aimed to clear his name. <sighs> but if it wasn't Luis, who else could have... That night... His Highness the Prince was already fleeing when I arrived at the scene. I encountered the assailant as I sought to protect His Highness. I pursued and slashed across their back. Right. I remember Forden mentioned something about that. Is there anything else you can remember? Fie! No, I can recall nothing else. No other clues. Yet, no, tis odd. I believe this is the first time I have recounted the particulars to anyone. I told the investigators only that I failed to capture the culprit. The shame of my failure kept me silent on the rest. What? But just earlier, Forden said... Yes. He told a story that none but the culprit could attest to. How does Forden know? Maybe he heard it from the culprit? 
If so, then Forden could be one of the conspirators behind the attack, or perhaps solely responsible for it. I say, you don't think Forden is the mastermind behind this whole blasted to-do? You, you do realize he's the sanctifex of the entire dashed Sanctus Church? Nay, but that does not make it impossible. It wasn't long after the Prince's passing that His Majesty named Sanctism the state religion. If not for the matter concerning the King's magic, Forden's claim to the throne would have been unshakable. Sounds like motive enough to want the Prince gone. We have to find out, even if it's remotely possible. Let's question Forden in person at the main festival tomorrow. We'll need that Divine Lance back, too. It's not something we want in Forden's hands, especially now. Hey, I'm going to go talk to my sister. She's bound to be somewhere in the city for the Saints' Day festivities. Sister, I should explain. All that fuss today was... Is it safe for you to come to such a public place? What? No, it's fine. It's not like we caused a riot or anything. We even explained ourselves to Forden's satisfaction. That's not what I meant. You're the songstress, remember? Ah, uh, yes. Suppose you're right. I know we talked before about the loophole in the King's protective magic, but I never thought you would be the one to strike Luis down. And that lance you presented... I take it that's why you went to Virga Island. We didn't mean for it to be such a spectacle. It didn't exactly go according to plan. But at least we kept a tyrant off the throne. And that's why I was wondering if I could ask you something about Sanctifex Forden. Because, well, now that Luis is out of the picture, we know who's got the best chance. A man as powerful as him, well, you know how it is. You hear all kinds of nasty rumors swirling about. Tuna, are you seriously trying to dig up dirt on Sanctifex Forden? On Saint's Day of all days? Oh, loosen up a bit. You can't deny that people talk, and God knows they always have. Especially about the night of the attack. Asking how anyone could sneak into the castle, let alone get to the prince. Whether some official ordered the assassination. Remember when those rumors started? Father was on edge for days. I remember even when I hadn't said anything, he'd scold me and send me away. I don't suppose... You ever heard if there was any truth to that? <sighs> Sorry. I don't mean to dance around it so... It's just not an easy thing to ask about. I was talking with one of our allies, Hulkenberg. She said Forden mentioned something he couldn't have known, unless he was actually there, the night of the attack. Unlikely as it is, if it turns out Forden was involved, she won't suffer him being crowned. She'll be out for vengeance. And you're the eldest daughter of House Cygnus, a Sanctist family. The people would see you as an accomplice to a man who had a hand in killing the royals. I couldn't bear to let that happen. You don't deserve that. I need to know the truth. Then, suppose His Eminence Forden were guilty of such sin. What would you do with him? With the Sanctus Church? What do you mean? Well, I was but a girl of only 12 years. I knew nothing about the inner workings of the Crown Theocracy. <sighs> Sister? What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> I'm fine. If a tad overworked, all these new developments and tragic events, I'm, I'm just run a little ragged, that's all. Sister. I'll be fine, really. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. 
If I am to be the people's saint, I must be strong enough to play the part. Maybe I'll hold off on the harder drinks today, just to be safe. It's been a long time since we could spend some simple time together like this. It's like we're just two sisters visiting Montario for the holiday. I'll see you again soon. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Now, let's get this year's Saints' Day Festival of Montario underway. We will begin with a few words from His Eminence, Sanctifex Forden. Looks like Dracodios hasn't left his side. Today is a day of great celebration. A day to offer up our thanks to God. But first, an announcement. Luis is dead. The royal family's murderer has been put to justice. Now much of the kingdom's trust lies with me. Even this king-defying lance is safe in my hands. I would not see further bloodshed in endless, futile conflict. Is it not past time for reconciliation and open dialogue as a newly forged nation? He's talking as if the race is already over. What about deciding the winner? All but a formality now, isn't it? His eminence has the overwhelming majority on his side. Better to establish peace now and crown Sanctifex for them. No. He would end the tournament here and now. So he's just going to call the race while he's ahead? How convenient. But the throne's decided by the king, not this tournament. Forden only had to abide by that when he had Luis to compete with. If he ends this while he's this far ahead, we won't be able to reverse it. Oi! The game's not over yet, you cocky bastard! We only seek to submit to the will of the people. Though you would be wise to quit the race with all speed. Forden for the throne! Then we will finally have peace! Hail His Majesty Forden! Long live His Majesty Forden! Down then. The people already believe him the victor. Tournament won or no, his dominance will soon be unshakable. Let's go. We reclaim the lance now. Now? Are you out of your mind? If he's going to keep it close to hand, we'll never have a chance to swap it out. We'll have to take it by force. Isn't it too dangerous? Better we risk danger than inaction. If we miss this chance, we may never get another. <laughs> so you were after this lance all along. Loyalists indeed. How many more candidates must die by your hand? Uh. His muggler is horrific, distorted. It's sickening. What did you? How dare you, you pagan wretch! You would steal this holy lance for your own vile ends. That alone is treason against the kingdom, you filthy assassins. Assassins? Then we're in good company. That night, you were the one behind the attack on His Royal Highness. You framed Luis for your crime, and banished him from the palace. 
do you deny it? <laughs> Precisely the sort of baseless claims I'd expect from desperate sinners. Baseless, is it? In that case, shall we produce proof of your treason? <laughs> you waste your breath. What do your words matter now? The royal family is gone. Luis is dead. Only I remain. And only I am fit for the throne. You vile traitor! You call his eminence a traitor? Preposterous! The Sanctifex is incapable of such deeds! Your Majesty Forden, punishment to the disloyal. Judge these ruffians with your divine lance! Behold! The flock has spoken! Those who defy me are to be executed. Before you die, know that I am in your debt for killing Luis and handing me the crown. <laughs> Del, what the hell's going on? I thought the prince's curse was supposed to be off. It's clearly not. The prince's assassination, the whole lot. It was all the Sanctists. It was all that bastard pulling the strings from the start. Wait, is that... You! Identify yourself! <laughs> Who are you? We're at a festival. Should we not be festive? Oh! I've come to meet you, Forden. Peace. Impossible. How could you have survived? <laughs> Not that it matters. It falls to me to finish the job, then. Coming here sealed your fate. Hell awaits, and this time I'll make sure you stay there. Face your divine punishment, Louise! <laughs> But... but why? <laughs> it appears your sins outweigh mine. Well, what have you done? That lance is counterfeit, just like you. <laughs> this is the true lance. <sighs> you snake, Louis. Did he just kill Sanctifex Forden? No, impossible. Nothing to see here! The festival is cancelled! Cancelled! Tell Lord Luis is uh, alive! What's going on? Good people! You have heard the truth with your own ears. Forden was the vile mastermind behind the prince's assassination. For casting his sins upon me, for seeking to usurp the throne, I have passed due judgment. A tainted Sanctifex is unfit to rule. What's the matter? You seem lost for words. You... you came back to life? You believe me resurrected? <laughs> Even if I could defy death, I care nothing for the prospect. Then how? 
How are you alive? Forden's own attendant confirmed your death. Forden's attendant? You mean that fellow? No! Zorba? Back at the Grand Cathedral, I ordered the dead to recover my body if the need arose. I had always intended for Forden to die by my hand, and the first step in his downfall was Zorba's infiltration. Impossible. The lance pierced you through your very breastplate! It did indeed. And frankly, I'm still impressed. Few could land such a decisive blow against me. But I'm afraid fate was on my side, not yours. Mortal anatomy is my speciality. I knew at first glance that the wound was deep, but the heart was intact. Lord Luis is destined for far greater than this. So I devised a plan. I would proclaim his death and deceive both Fordan and his flock. After that, it was simply a matter of magically regenerating his flesh overnight. <laughs> Only a fool would expect him to die in such a place. I could have emerged as soon as I'd healed. But where's the theater in that? Today is a day of celebration. The least I could do is offer a fitting death out of mercy. Why do you have the real lance? Wasn't it supposed to have gone to Forden? We bit slow on the uptake, eh? I just told you, I was present for the inspection. It was hardly a difficult task to swap out your counterfeit. So you knew the truth of it? No. Have you always been ahead of us, ever since the moment we thought Zorba dead? A holy lance, a convincing prop. What does it matter? Had I truly died, it would simply indicate that I was never fit for my ambitions. Power is the only true arbiter. Behold the proof. Forden lies dead, and the lance is in my hand, just as planned. You let us do as we pleased, even knowing the risks. You're insane! Indulge me a question. You stole the magic formula from me. Surely you soon learned that it was useless. That's why you then resorted to killing the caster. You were desperate to lift the spell. Is that not so? In other words, the curse's victim still draws breath. For that reason, you sought to kill me even amidst this competition, even with the difficulty of the king's magic in your way. So, his venerable highness, the prince, survived. Where is he? Speak or die. How quickly the Sanctus break rank and flee. Their flock left to die. This is Sanctism. <laughs> no! Stop him! Don't! 
Do they have to? It's not that! This is too strong! They strong, me lord! I see. So even you two have faltered. thing in this world is power. With it you can take whatever you want in this life. Or so I thought. Tell. But you know, if all the weak get left behind, who's left to protect them? <laughs> I've been an idiot. Sorry about that. <coughs> Stop talking, Del. I see it, you know. Our little diner. Music in the air. It's grand. Look after Lady Juna. Uh. Huh? Hey! Del? Del! Pitiful! See what Brotherhood earned them. Ugh. Lord Louis, that's what it all comes down to for you, yeah? The strong are right, the weak. Doesn't matter what you were born into, there's fairness in that. We saw you as our hope. We thought that if you had a proper strong fella on top, he'd be able to put a stop to all the meaningless discrimination. We had it wrong. You're no ray of hope. It doesn't matter to you. Killing anyone, it doesn't make you feel unclean. You. You're the kind of cold-blooded bastards we ain't more than anything! Do not concern yourself with this peon, Lord Luis. With my newfound power, I shall tear them limb from limb! <laughs> this way! Guards, hurry! Step aside. You have important work to do. Hey! Seize the criminals who murdered his evidence! We didn't do it, but we should probably still run. Basilio, come with us! 
shut up! What about Tell? You saw what that bastard did to him! I will not let you die in vain. Your brother didn't do this so you could get yourself killed. For now, please flee with us. Shut! Come, make haste! as well as could be expected. We wanted something nicer for his grave, but they told us something like that's reserved for Sanctus tradition. little else in Althabri. I apologize for not being present. We've just gotten ourselves out of the public eye. If we had gone as a crew, worst case, we'd have been turned in. I wish we could have mourned him at his home. It had to happen in the lap of the Sanctus Church of all places. I hear the parapists typically prefer a more joyful send-off, with singing and celebration. It's all right. Us soldier kids could never afford to be too picky. Tell knew he couldn't choose where to snuff it. The fact that you were there, Lady Juna, that's enough for us. to leave him be for a while. He's just lost the only family he had. By the way, have you checked the far side mirror? The curse might be. Unfortunately, it still hasn't lifted. Guess that means it was some... But Forden brazenly admitted that he had been the mastermind. Luis was innocent of that crime, at least. Must have cast it at Forden's command. Unless we can find and kill them in time. Arr, damn it all! We've more pressing problems at hand, don't we? Now Luis knows the prince is alive, surely that's far from ideal. The village is deep in the forest. It's not an easy place to find, even if you're looking. Going to the prince's side could be dangerous. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. But even if we sought the real culprit, we no longer have any leads to follow. If I might make a suggestion, perhaps we should visit my sister again. She may have some insight on the Sanctus Church's past. But that's tomorrow's concern. As for tonight, we could all use some time to rest our hearts and minds. Look at you, kid. You look near dead yourself. <sighs> Tell? Tell? What? <laughs> Seems you made it out in one piece, though. Are you alive? But back there, you... 
Don't tell me you pulled some bloody trick. Just like Luis. Bloody hell, tell. I, I, I... Basilio. Sorry. From here on, you're taking the lead. But why? I can't without you. I'm... Tell, I only made it this far because I followed you. <laughs> Don't give me that. You're the strong one. Me, I never knew where I was going. Basilio, protect the weak. Swear you'll do it, not for me, but for yourself. If you can do that, I'll always be with you. Tell... Don't give me that look. Well, this one's goodbye for now. You ready? Let's hear it, Basilio. You fight, but why? Oh, oh Lone Star, ye grief wracked brother, oh, thou anguished traveler. Thy long stagnant stance hath finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Not really a choice. It's back to the starting line. This time I'll meet. Our Dell entrusted me with this chance. I've got to show him I've got this. Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the king's own path. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities are thy light. Awaken! See you around, Del. flowing through him. I think it's the same as our power. <laughs> it's you lot from before. They want to pay their respects for Fidelio. It's not so bad. Thanks. By God, what in the world is that, Lance? It struck down Santifex Fallen right before our eyes. That's supposed to be impossible. And Luis made sure it was a bloody spectacle. Before an audience, even. The bastard is making sport of it. We must devise a plan. Otherwise, 
Even if Luis does not sway our supporters, they may lose faith in the church. Before all else, we must choose a successor, but they need not share Forden's strength. I have brought her here. You requested an audience, assembled lords. Rella. We must ask your support. Let me be direct. We would like you to enter the tournament as a formal successor to His Eminence, Sanctifix Fallen. This girl? She is your plan? Have you gone mad? I reject this proposal. If anyone... See sense. Strength alone means nothing. And without that, you have nothing worthy of the people's loyalty. <laughs> Rella, will you not speak? Surely you feel what they ask of you is beyond your station. Oh, well, that is... You are wise beyond your years, Rella. Surely you understand. What the lost children need now is not a righteous avenger, but a refuge from their fears. The people would flock to a saint who dwells among her people. Already many would rejoice to see you rule as queen. Bella, will you answer their call? I... this is all rather sudden. Of course, you would have our full support. Naturally, we will make arrangements so that the tournament's next round turns in your favor. Even so, I... I am un... <sighs> Allow me to clarify. This is not exactly a request. Would you rather have that tyrant Luis become king? Well... Hey, sounds like we've got big news. I just heard from the pack of sanctists. I figured they'd shove someone up to take Forden's place, but where it is... It'll be Saint Rella. Gonna be an announcement tomorrow. The morning for Forden's barely started, and they're already lining up his successor. And Rella at that. Going for popularity over power, it seems. They're getting careless. Though, thinking about it, maybe it's a smarter choice than it seems. But, say Saint Rella wins against Luis. Becomes proper queen and all gets to do what she wants. Doesn't that tidy this whole thing right up? No! This can't be her own decision. Just the idea of being queen would put her stomach in knots. The politicians must be trying to make her their puppet. Perhaps it was an order she could not refuse. This isn't good. Probably not the best time to talk to her either. But that's got to mean they're keeping the tournament going, right? Either way, I don't like it. This is all escalating too fast for my tastes. All the support Forden had campaigned for will likely just go straight to Rella with hardly a dent. If Luis and the Sanctus Church are trying to reclaim the status quo as the two pillars of government, that'll be a tough lead to shake. After all, just lifting the curse isn't going to be enough to restore the prince to the throne. Indeed. Luis versus Rella. 
front runner and runner up with no ties to the royal family between them. Everyone would see plain that popularity is eclipsed royal right. His Highness himself will have to win this battle on the faith of the people, or his claim to the crown will never be acknowledged. Besides which, Luis now knows that His Highness lives. His whereabouts have not been discovered, but the Kingslayer will take up the hunt. So many obstacles! What do we do? Well, I know one way to keep a VIP protected. A classic tactic, really. The military does it all the time. We use a body double. You're supposed to be a dead ringer for the prince, yeah? You mean he pretends to be the prince? That's absurd. You realize it's a capital offense to impersonate royalty. I'm in. As long as they don't find out. You can't just casually drop an I'm in on this. Adele was right about you being mental. I think we could pull it off, though. The prince has been gone ages. Nobody's in a position to point out differences. Wait, just think about this. He's Elder, the royal family's Clamar, and have been for generations. His appearance would be the least of our worries. If I may. Highness the Prince lacks the Clamar horns. Some rumors suggested twas not some miraculous feature of the Prince alone, but a mark of Elden blood. I've heard no confirmation either way myself, but at the very least, tis a tale any aristocrat is bound to have heard in passing. In other words, with an elder claiming the prince's name and a known royal knight to vouchsafe him, we'd have enough plausibility to shake the nobles to their core. Of course, all this means little, unless our double himself is willing. What say you? I can't back down now. You never do, you know? Your resolve has been challenged many times over, and never have you strayed. I am humbled once more. Good. Then we declare ourselves tomorrow, where this announcement's going to take place. Seems like the optimal place to make sure we're heard. Right then. Looks like I'll have to give the old girl a polish worthy of a prince. My cue as well. From here on, it's nose to the grindstone until my magnum opus is finished. Can't let the lad be the only one with his life on the line.
Hey, mate. on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Look, it's that boy candidate. The one who betrayed Luis or killed him or something. Hold on! I thought it was Sanctifex Forden who got killed. I think it's both, but hard to say what actually happened. I suppose it's true what they say about Elder. Disaster follows them like an ill wind. Couldn't get a read on what kind of reputation we had before, but it seems worse than I thought. Once we stand for His Royal Highness the Prince, that will surely change. We have to... St. Vela is here. The rumors were true. Thank you all for joining me, even in the midst of this turmoil. I am Rella Cygnus of the Crown Theocracy. The reason I ask that you all gather here today is so that I may formally announce my succession to His Eminence, the late Sanctifex Forden. I know not if I am worthy, but under the teachings of the Noblesse, I am determined to become a worthy king, a queen of this land. The saint herself is to be our queen. Now we are safe. Glory to Sanctism. She knew how to just jump in mid-race like that. Everyone seemed pretty annoyed when Luis did it. The tournament's winner is not guaranteed to throw. Fairness was never really a factor. Whoever has the skill to exploit the standings will win. Listen to that roar. I think I underestimated my sister's popularity. Even from here, I can feel her aura of magic. I suppose that's to be expected if she's the land's best mage healer. From the looks of it, she's perfectly situated to pick up where Forden left off. I object! Rella, you have no true experience in the political world. And you would rise to Santafex Forden's heights. Be worshipped as he was. I refuse. I have been loyal to God and his eminence Forden my whole life. I am the only one worthy of his legacy. Master Gido, truly I do see the truth in your words. However, this is also the will of the Crown Theocracy. Friends gathered here. Do you really believe such a person is fit to be queen? Once the nation has dissolved into chaos, it will be too late. Appoint me as champion of sanctism, and I will save you all. Hmm, not sure about that. We know your name, but honestly, you don't have much in the way of real accomplishments. The man has no charisma. If I had to choose, I'd rather follow Saint Well, nor her glory. And they say Sanctifex Forden killed the Prince, too. If that's true, then I don't know if I'd trust his closest vassal with the throne. Friends! I, I... 
Is that Luis's gauntlet runner? As usual, I find you all embroiled in pointless conflict. What is your business here? For the sake of those mired in your endless, fruitless squabbles, I have come to propose we give truth to this competition. What truth? The people's eyes have been opened. This entire tournament is a self-indulgent travesty of the Sanctus Church's making. First the king, and now you dogs of God. Why do you teach the people lies? You preach the true understanding is mutual and blind to the balance of power. Ignorant, willful or otherwise, to the sin and weakness that your lessons breed. Face the truth. Our world is lawless, and your efforts have done nothing to quell the chaos. It is time we were judged only by our abilities. Victory means nothing unless won by skill, and it is no less true for the throne. Skill? What skill would you put on display? I see no more reason to forbid the killing of candidates. You would have the race decided by violence. And I suppose you believe yourself capable of personally reversing the king's magic? <laughs> Impossible. Oh, king! You have witnessed our trials, have you not? You have seen a divine relic used to defy your shield and claim lives! <sighs> the lance rests in my hand. With its power, my victory is assured. But surely you would not see the race decided by such injustice. And neither would I. I will not give voice to the lie that this world is subject to any god's reign. Would you, O oh great king? What is his aim? If he has the key to certain victory in his hands, why cast it aside? <laughs> Never takes what he doesn't win. That's Luis to the core. He means every word he says. When you're clawing up from the bottom and you hear him talk like that, you can't help but dream. And then you never realize. Only a madman claims lies and contradictions won't exist in their world. Luis Guyaburn. What manner of life has this man lived to make him such a creature? He says that, but with that lance, he could kill any candidate he pleases, couldn't he? He killed Sanctifex Forden, and now threatens Saint Rella. No! Your late majesty, please speak! Do not fear, my people. Even should Louise claim all the power he desires, I will not be so easily conquered. Even should our nation dissolve into anarchy, I will always stand to defend you. Sister. I expected little else of Forden's loyal pet. It seems there is more to the saint than vapid, empty benevolence. Come, O King! There can be no more doubt. The masses desire a truly fair battle. One waged without your shackles. Be this thy course. Thou wouldst rule by strength alone. He's talking! Like when he first rose. I killed Forden, yet has my standing fallen at all? Surely you would know. This petty race limps forward, while the land is further flooded with anxiety and monsters. 
You have left us an age of strife. You are powerless to stop it. And in your place, fool king, I will restore the balance and right this land's wrongs. So be it. They who remain seeketh a clash without hindrance. Very well. Now and hereafter, my magic shall no longer protect thee. This is a trial renewed. If ye would be a true king, then I bid thee prevail. You see that light just now? The magla flow surrounding the candidates has disappeared. The protection of the magic is no more. <sighs> then this lance of dragons is no more than an antique spear. Children lost in Sanctism shadow. The fog of deception has finally cleared. There is no god. Think hard on your salvation and whether you'll find it in prayer. No, he would even deny us our prayer? It's true. His majesty has broken the spell. If it has come to this... You know it was not I who laid the prince low. Which means that if you oppose me still, it is for the throne, and nothing more. I can finally face the real you. <laughs> A near-death invalid has no place upon the throne. The mere suggestion is ludicrous. You do well to follow the king's example, and abandon the folly of your ideals. Aside, all we've fought for would accomplish nothing. We too strive for a vision. Luis, you will never take the throne. The rightful heir stands before you. Look upon our candidate and know his true claim. He is the legitimate son of his late majesty, King Hithlodius V. Last heir to the throne of Ukronia. His Highness, the Prince himself, has risen to vanquish evil. For his people, he defies the pain and suffering of the curse he endured. His Highness, the Prince? What? That's a... His Highness? He has already passed. His Highness the Prince. <laughs> They're mad, the lot of them. That boy's an elder. Indeed he is. It is the very proof you seek. Anyone who truly knows His Highness himself will see what this means. Indeed, there is no denying it. Rella? Sister? I saw for myself when I personally treated His Highness. They'd warned me against revealing it to the public, but... The time for discretion is past. His Highness the Prince has Elden blood coursing through his veins. His Majesty told me that the boy's birth mother was an elder woman. The Prince was an elder? Enough of this absurdity. <laughs> you! The Prince! 
A bold gambit to reveal yourself before both Rella and I. Indeed, I have no retort. After all, he's been dead so long. Nobody could say otherwise. Fine then, so be it. This marks the true battle between those who would fight for the throne. Wouldn't you say, your highness? <sighs> Face your unworthy ideals and come to terms. I shall await at the royal capital to meet the one left standing. Legacy is rightfully mine. It won't be long before this conflict turns violent. Do you really think you have what it takes to fend off Luis? You were head of the guards and you failed to protect Santifex Forden. Are you on to talk? Please step down. And you think yourself my better, do you? If it's a contest of strength you want, we can settle that right here. My magic. Nothing's happening. Please, do not cause further distress to the devout. I ask once more, stand down. Did you see that? Those were thorned vines. But that's... Sister. Children of God. I know the burdens you bear. I see the fear and anxiety that weighs heavy upon you. But rest at ease, my beloved citizens. Sanctism is and shall ever be your fortress. Know that I will protect all of you. Pray with me now. She's right. Saint Rella can even heal our country. As long as we believe in her, we shall know peace. Saint Rella, Saint Rella, a uh, closure. Be careful. I sense Magla. There's something beyond rhetoric in her words. There is definitely magic there. Sister, what have you done to everyone? I'm lifting their fears and anxieties. I can take yours too. With enough devotion, you can lock your anxieties away and they shall never trouble you again. Sanctifex Forden saw sanctism as only a tool, a means to exploit the people, abuse his authority, and mask injustice as piety. And yet, even then, did this twisted form of sanctism save no unfortunate souls? What makes salvation true? Luis claims that there is no God, that true equality is only earned in pitiless competition. Are the believers fools to fear his words? Saint Rella. I will save the people of this land in the truest sense. They shall live with no worries, no anxieties, now and forevermore. But through magic? You forced the fears out of their very hearts. Tis no salvation to strip them of free thought. Perhaps not, but this country has bled them of it for too long. Besides, what makes you any more fit to speak of rightness? <laughs> you claim he is the prince. The real prince is surely at death's door, isn't he? After all, your efforts did nothing to lift the curse. 
I've told you before. The Prince's curse was crafted to perpetually draw upon the caster's magic. I know he suffers because I yet live. Wait. Surely you can't mean... No. You healed his highness. It was only by virtue of your presence that he survived that night. Oh, was I not clear enough? Allow me to clarify. On that night, it was my back that your blade carved across. Good. There's magic flooding this place. Keen senses indeed, to be capable of seeing all this. No! Why? Sister, you can't have! You were only twelve summers old then. I was. And Luis was only a boy. All the better for any witnesses to suspect him of the crime. Yet I was interrupted in casting. What would have been a fatal curse became something unorthodox and incomplete. A spell with no formula. Even I could not dispel it. All you can do now is kill the caster. As heiress to the Sanctus Church's legacy, I will never hand over the Royal Scepter. Not to Luis, nor to you. Juna, I will await you amidst our dearest memories. Find me where the failures of the Sanctus Church lie buried. A place I'm sure you know well. Isn't that a... I will not let you escape. You've ruined everything. The church, my authority, everything. You will never leave this city alive. I am Guido of the warrior monks, and in God's name, I condemn thee. Technology near us. It's time.
After that drop, I thought we'd die even if we didn't crash. <sighs> now that we're past the worst of it, it's actually smoother than I thought. A bit of faith, my dear. You're telling me that tiny patch is the city? <laughs> it's like a child's toy. Seeing it like this, it's easy to imagine the people as little dots. Huddling. Phew, that was terrifying. I'm just glad it flew okay. Don't you think? <laughs> I always knew Nurus could make it work. Only because you're as bold and big-headed as I am, what? <laughs> really, old boy, I'd not be here without you to give me the push I needed. Thank you. So, about our next move. We must pursue Saint... Pursue Rella as soon as possible. His Highness is running out of time. Where did she say she was going? Where the failures of the Sanctus Church lie buried? My guess is... the Mage Academy. Or what remains of the place. Nobody goes near it now. I was a student there myself once. You don't say. No wonder you're so knowledgeable about magic. For a dropout, I suppose. The Royal Mage Academy, then. It was known as the finest school in the kingdom for magic research. Lady Judah, I've got to ask. What was St. Rilla like back in your school days? The way she was acting earlier, all cold? No! It can't be. I don't... I don't want it to be. Maybe I just never knew the real her. That was the first I've ever seen her like that myself. <sighs> I keep thinking, if she'd just quietly taken over for Forden, we could have helped each other out. Even if she inherits the Sanctifex's authority, she's nothing like Forden. She'd never want to hurt anyone. That's not her. I thought she wasn't like that. Now she's saying she was part of this conspiracy? She attacked the prince? No, it doesn't make any sense. Then we've got to get to her, fast as we can. We know where she is, yeah? You just gotta tell her everything you just told us. That would be prudent, yes. But Captain, a reef for your thoughts, lad. If she is truly the culprit, then the curse will persist so long as she lives. This means we will have to kill her. Are you up to the task? <sighs> Juna. Would you prefer to stay behind? I can't afford to. If, look, if at the last minute I can't face it, then you can leave me where I stand. I'm prepared enough for that. Lady Juno. What's the matter? It's plain to see something's bothering you. Oh, no. It's nothing specific. It's just that... Something's felt wrong somehow. Ever since I sensed the Saint's Magla. I'm sorry. It's hard to explain. Please pay me no mind.
is waiting for us there. Let's hurry. But isn't it oh, nice? Here. <laughs> Tell it, oh, then. Let's be off. I say, already seem preposterous on the map. But they really built this old academy as deep in the mountains as they could shove it. Amazing. It's all so beautiful. But for some reason, I can't stop shaking. It's what they call too salt and cold. Ugh, I wasn't made for chill like this. The wintry peaks of Montario are harsh. The first snowfall is bound to make it even harder to reach the base from our position. I built a blasted thing here of all places. I don't know much about it myself, but I have heard rumors that there's a dragon among these mountains. A dragon? You mean like our dragon god? You saw how the dragon god turned into immaterial magla to be absorbed by the lamps, right? Dragons may look like monsters, but they're not true flesh and blood creatures. They're testaments to a lost world. That's why the Academy's here, I heard. To study them. But of course, that's all in the past now. Why is Rena with the Sanctus Church, anyway? If they tore apart a place she held dear, you'd think she'd carry some kind of grudge against them. It is not unlike my own plight, I feel. One might call it a family curse. My family, the Cygnus family, holds great esteem, to the church especially. We've held high, sanctified titles for generations, and as eldest child, Rella can't reject them. How did all that obligation weigh on her? Was she so determined to uphold it that she'd kill at their command? She wouldn't. <sighs> we better hear it from her. I feel it. I can sense an aura of Magla all the way from here. There's a strong disturbance like I've never felt before. Gotta be here. Here we go. We're finally closing in. The Royal Mage Academy ruins. The once proud school's dignity is long stripped by frigid wind, its frozen spires piercing the wintry clouds. The gauntlet runner lands at the foot of the mountains, blemishing the pristine snow with fresh tracks. In silent certainty, they know Rella awaits them, the weathered corpse of a scholar's home at her back. So that's the former Mage Academy. I've been waiting for you. Little more needs to be said. We are here to save His Highness. And to do that... Sister! At least tell me, why did you have a hand in the assassination? Did I ever really know you? How like you to be self-centered even now, Juna. In the end, you're no daughter of House Cygnus. You're an orphan. Another acquisition of House Cygnus, picked up on a whim. A tokenized game piece on their board to illustrate their noble contributions to society. <laughs> you thought you and I were close. You believed you understood your big sister. <laughs> I see. I understand now, Rella. You're right. And I was wrong. I am... Juani Cygnus, 
and my life is my own. So is my heart. I've always believed in you, and I'm not going to stop now. You would never kill someone just because Forden asked you to. Never! What are you saying? Forden lies dead, yet the curse is unbroken. Is that not proof enough? Can you deny it, your highness? You had your reasons, I assume? I honestly can't see it either. Anyone aiming to kill a royal is risking their life for a cause. But what would a 12-year-old girl be willing to die for? If Saint Rella's willing to die for something, no mistake, it'd be you, Lady Juna. Huh? For me? Why? Delusions. Sister. <sighs> What? You are protecting me. From what? <sighs> Even if that's all true, why did you bother summoning us here? The King's Rock marks you at second place. All the Sanctus faithful have put their trust in you. Even after the death of the Santafex shook their hearts. Had you only gone into hiding to prepare for the battle against Luis, no one... Not even us would have been able to get to you. Yet... You want to know why I've summoned you here? A question burns in me, and I will have my answer. Whoever defeats Luis will surely win the throne. But can you save those who remain of the Sanctist flock? The weak, whom Luis would see culled? This world already rejects many for their weakness. With nowhere to turn, they seek comfort in faith. If you would sacrifice them for freedom, you're no better than Luis. I intend to look after them. Well, words alone prove nothing. To be king is to wield strength, even to save the foolish and the abandoned. Whoever you really are, until I know you can be a true king, I refuse to die! Such an aura... This must be... Yes. Behold a divine relic. Once wielded in war, and then sealed in the Frostlands. A weapon of draconic command. Just like the lance of your islands. Dragons are manifested avatars of mortal fear. Fear of nature. Fear of the untamed. That is the source of their power. If you would be king, show me you can conquer it. God of the Ice Valley, show me now the power that ended the ancient world. If you would make this a country where it is no sin to be weak or ignorant, you need strength to shape it. Let us prove that strength here. Rella! Then let's go. If you're gonna put your life on the line for this, then it's only right we do the same. Come, Sogne of the Ice Valley! Come, O oh Pillar of the Five Chromatic Dragons! Harbingers of Earthly War! Heed my call, and unleash your fury once again before us! We've got no choice! So Fight that. back, everyone! Fire! Hit their weakness! Here I go! That's your own! Captain, he's me! Yeah. You Are you strong? Let's get over there! The Hold nothing back! The power of fire! Keep it up, Stroll! 
Join with me! Take my power! Burn! The freedom. We'll do this together! is key! There truly is a gulf between us. You are more the warrior than I, as expected. So be it! What I lack in experience, I shall give with my life! Sister! Sogne, I give unto you all that I am! She gave the last of her magic to the dragon? Why go that far? The play. I call upon the royal power within! Burn to us! Yeah, Let roll. justice prevail! Hoping we're got them right in the middle! Burn! You hit their weakness! I'm cold! That's your opening, Captain! Take my first power! Come forth now! Captain After me! His attack Show them our might! Is that for all that we strive for? Come forth, royal oh, soul! I'm cold. Attack, I can Let's do this. Heed me! I am bested. I see now. The true strength of your will. That'll do. Not bad at all. Ah, I did. Power can be. Yes, I've become stronger. <sighs> well fought. You truly are strong. Strong enough to fend off a dragon from an age of destruction. Rella, for his highness, I will do what I must. Forgive me, but have you any last objections? As for the crowd I've enchanted, you needn't worry. That was no spell of control. They should have come to their senses a while back now. Then, your life is now forfeit by my hand. Wait! Sister, please tell me what happened on that day. I want to know everything. I was only 12. No child could so easily take a life in cold blood. I was confused, scared. I lost control and the spell was cast. And so it became a wasting curse, imperfect. Juna, do you remember how we talked of your dream? To become a singer whose voice could reach everyone in this land. I've changed my destiny through song, you said. You told me that as a Nydia, singing is the only truth you have. As a true-born heiress of the Cygnus family, in my eyes, you were like a shining beacon. You became my dream. Stop. We're not talking about that. I couldn't do anything for you. In you, I saw such freedom. I didn't want to lose you. So that day, Kill his highness. I, I can't. Have you gone mad? 
You do know how House Cygnus earned its position all these years, don't you? Everyone in your family did their part to handle similarly delicate affairs. Your father was no different. But I... To murder royalty, it's... Surely it's beyond all. The king has sired an illegitimate mongrel of a boy. Now he's brought him to the castle. If we do not act now, one day we will be bending the knee to an Elden King. Moreover, of late, we have another nuisance rearing its head. Louise. An impious little upstart with no respect for the church. But his military merits are getting too great to ignore. Some are even saying he's fit for high command. As the matter stands, we have but one way to deal with both in a single stroke. Dispose of the mongrel prince and place the blame on Louise. Such a maneuver demands someone who can be a match for Louise in magical ability and physical stature. A girl of your intelligence can figure out the rest, I trust. <sighs> The king's heart falters. He has lost the will to keep the kingdom united. Look upon him and see the face of a man preparing to abdicate. It is amidst dissent and strife when the guiding hand of the church is needed most. And if Sanctism's enemies are not expunged, the nation's order will surely collapse. Yes, but even so, it... His Highness, the Prince, is guilty of nothing. To murder someone innocent... It... If I recall, you have a sister. Unrelated by blood, yet already they speak of her beauty. What does Juna have to do with this? Rella, you are destined to lead your family in due course. Surely it's your responsibility to protect them from the grief of any personal tragedies? Or will you live the rest of your life regretting a single night's lapse of judgment? Hmm? I'll do it. Cygnus is a sullied house. My parents yielded to authority, and only ever measured a person's worth by their magical prowess. I lived in disappointment. And then you entered our family. You became my hope for living. Someone more important than my own life. I wanted to protect you, but in the end, I suppose this was the only way I ever managed it. I see. Saint Rella, the familiarity I felt from you, I... I finally understand what is unique about your Magla. as I once did, as someone who has spent her whole life preparing to die. When you all greeted me with Luis's formula in hand, I thought my heart might stop at the shock. someone might come asking one day, but I never thought it would be you, Juna. It felt like fate's hand, dealing my due punishment. That's why I'd kept an eye on you ever since then. To observe this Seeker of the Throne. 
This aspirant who possesses the lost power of the archetype. I hoped you could be the one with the power I've been seeking, but I needed to see with my own eyes. The power you've been seeking? Luis is more of a threat than you know. Whatever his intentions are, I know he grasps at more than just the crown. After the assault on His Highness, I was made to investigate Luis as a suspect. I touched his hand and read deeply into the flow of his magla. to see his aura, but it was more like a vision plunged into my mind, pure and vivid and violent, choking me in its flow. Humans flooding the country. Innocents are either fleeing or lost to madness. But I'm... A world overrun by humans? What does this mean? The man has been traveling the country doing little but slaying them, has he not? I don't know the details. But in the past ten years, Luis has been clad in that same magla, unchanging. If he becomes king, I know his vision will come true. So that's how it is. If you let yourself be killed for the Prince's sake, you couldn't guarantee the survivors could stop Luis. That's even why you called that dragon to test us, isn't it? You wanted to see if we had the power to protect this land and all the meek in it. And you've proven you can. With that strength, I know you can do what I couldn't. I... Sister! Then I will put an end to this at last. For all who deserve the truth, I shall reveal everything. What are you going to do? I will speak to the congregation gathered in Alterbury. Indeed, it was for this purpose that I gathered them there. What? Then... That magic you mixed in with your speech, the real reason you linked their minds with yours. All that's left is to strengthen the magic a bit with the power of this relic, and my words will reach Alterberry. Good people, can you hear my voice? Going on. There's a voice in my head. A voice? I hear nothing. I apologize for startling all of you. It is I, Rella Cygnus. Through magic, I speak directly to your minds. Saint Rella? Is every sanctist in the city hearing this? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's some spell. We witnessed a boy candidate who claimed to be the prince. To ascertain the truth of his words, I faced him in mutual, voluntary battle. I now see with eyes unclouded. Good people, he is, without a doubt, his highness the prince. Now, there is something further you all must know. The truth of His Highness's reported death. 
understand the truth of the attempt on his life. Sanctifex Forden was indeed behind the plot to assassinate His Highness. By this barbaric act, he sought to elevate the church and put the throne within his own grasp. These revelations are only mine to give because I was Forden's assassin. It was I who cast the curse upon His Highness. Yet all was not lost. Through all these long years, His Highness has endured the pain and now walks among his people once more. Sanctifex Forden was really the mastermind? What am I supposed to believe, oh God? Sanctist, faithful, she knows not what she speaks. Close your mind to her. Damn you, Rella. You would not just expose our secrets, but cast them into our people's very heads? Forden has already paid for his transgressions. As for me, this shall be my final address to you all. For my sins against our nation and its people, and for willingly abetting such atrocities, I will soon... Yet know this, dear faithful, you need not let your anxieties rule you. I have faced His Highness the Prince myself and known his heart. His Highness will accept us. With his strength, he will shelter the lost and weak and stand against Luis in our names. If all of you would believe, our country could be a place where all would thrive under a just king. I pray with all my heart that it will be so. Saint Rella, was this your plan from the very beginning? Damn it! Cryer or not, I can't let her down. I've got a job to do. What became of my church? My faith? How can I go on without it? I am lost. I thought myself the unshakable defender of the Sanctus Church. But should it now collapse, I cannot see my path forward. Even I, then. I, too, am one of the weak that Rella fought for. at an end. Juna, I'm sorry. I only ever meant to protect you, but in the end, you'll have it the hardest. Sister, please, you, tell me, what do I do? Basilio, tell me. Lady Judah. Uh, and what happens to the faithful? They'll be crushed. You're their saint. You had just put their hearts at ease. What are you? I never wanted you to see it, but... Juna, look at this. What? What's left of my life is a price already claimed by my own curse. Perhaps it was too cruel to ask for a quicker death at your hands. I leave Juna and this country in your hands. Thank you, Juna.
Your life and will was always your own. If only I could have lived with your freedom. I admire you. Please don't let this change you, dear sister. I just wish I'd had more time to watch over. She did not strive merely to make amends. She was as much a protector as any of us. You're right. For her family, and for all Sanctism's faithful. Even as it cost her her own life. <sighs> she really, truly wanted to guide those who looked to her. It wasn't about the church for her, it was about the people. She was the kind of sanctist others only pretended to be. I have a feeling that many of her congregation will continue to call her the saint. I only wish she had lived to see it. I'm with you there. She was stubborn, fussy, a bit odd, maybe. But she'd drop everything to help someone. And she'd do it with her whole heart. In all the filth of that sullied house, she was the one brilliant flower that bloomed. That's who you were. And that's why I loved you, Rella. Are you all right? Not in the slightest. But I know wallowing isn't going to fix anything. Rella's given us a lot. Not just the truth about Louise. She's put the entire Sanctus congregation's support behind His Highness the Prince. You. Indeed. You'll not have the whole nation on your side, but it won't be long before you've taken second place just behind Luis himself. Saint Rella saved me. I owe her my life and I'm not gonna waste it. I'll fight with everything I have, right to the end. Let's do this. Rella was the one who cursed the prince, and to take her own life in the name of atonement. Yet, even if she'd lived, she confessed to high treason. She'd have been executed either way. 
Has all I've believed in been lies? But didn't you hear the rest? That elder boy's the true prince. He survived. The king's true-born son's risen to take down Luis. It's like a proper myth. I've got to stand with him. Ladies and gentlemen, if I might have your attention for a moment. We actually received an urgent notice a short while ago. In truth, I wasn't sure if we should read this to the public. But the criers have come to consensus. If this message is, is being, being read, read, it means, means that Rella is dead. Now, only two aspirants remain with any real chance at the throne. The boy, and to all lessers who remain, lay down your arms and accept defeat with grace. Blind defiance will be met with death. Bear your teeth, and you will die like the dogs you are. The boy, or myself, only one shall wear the crown. Sounds like he's throwing down a gauntlet to me. We need not wait for the former king's judgment to pass. Let us determine ourselves which of us is fit for rule. My proposal is this. On September the 24th, upon the grounds before the royal capital's grand cathedral, we settle this in a contest of single combat. As in our battle at the Opera House, I welcome any weapons, any number of adversaries. Collective power is its own achievement. Either way, you will die by my hand. Thus ends the letter from Candidate Luis. I knew it! It's a duel. If Luis emerges the victor, we are surely doomed. I stand with the Prince! Nobody can beat Count Luis! It's high past time he tore that so-called Prince limb from limb! If he beats this Luis person, will he become king? Will he indeed? Reminds me of what my darling used to say. If you choose to fight, be ready when they fight back. I suppose it had to be this way. You can't fight a man for the throne without cutting a path to it first. Just come back alive. That's all we can hope for. This defies all reason! What has Rella done? Even in death, she finds a way to betray the church and raise that damned wealth! She always seemed so timid in these chambers. Had she been scheming against us from the beginning? We're not through yet. We must find a worthy successor and raise yet another candidate to replace Bella. Yet, what chance do we have of winning now? Can anyone here conceive of someone as capable as Rella in winning the people's hearts? They say that even the monk Captain Godot is stepping down. There is no road forward where a Sanctus delegate can take the throne. Then what path remains? We must take steps now to ensure that our positions cannot be eliminated whether by Luis or the boy. Whoever wins, we must gird ourselves. If Luis has his way, he'd sooner have our heads than our titles. The methods don't matter as long as we have a plan. There's no going back when our hands are already steeped in blood. Strange to hear that said without a shred of guilt. But you're right. Survival is what matters now. I see. Yes, that seems to explain everything. Glad to hear His Highness is all right. Hardly feels real after all the muck we've waded through. But I suppose the fates take as much as they give. And you, my girl. How are you holding up? I'm all right. My mind's cleared a bit. <sighs> Sorry. Still got to lie about it. 
But please don't act any different on my account. She put her trust in me. I can't afford to be weak now. I've a job to do. And I'm going to finish it. Right. Understood. For now, tempting as it might be, best not to drop everything and make a dash for His Highness. Indeed. No doubt Luis has his eyes on us, waiting for such indiscretion. We must be patient, and confront him face to face. As it happens, we were rather beaten to the punch. Just earlier, a delivery bird dropped by with urgent news from old Batlin. Apparently, Luis has thrust us a proper letter of challenge. Says he'll be waiting to face us on September 24th in front of the great. Sounds like he wants to settle before an audience. If he's going all in here, maybe he'll finally tip his hand, show his trump card. Still got a trick up his sleeve, has he? Luis just doesn't go around hunting humans. He's been doing proper research, trying to figure out their powers and origin for ages. Don't know how much truth there is to it, but I heard he's developed some new magic arts of his own. Something dark and secret. He's forged new magics. I wasn't convinced when I first heard it. But now I've met you lot and I've seen all this messing about with archetypes. Well, nothing surprises me anymore. Indeed. Last time, we had the element of surprise, and he was wounded. And we still barely had him. Didn't it? If we fight the same way we did last time, he'll kill us all. This won't be an easy battle, but we've got to keep our heads up. We still have a grace period until the day he named. Let us use the time wisely and prepare all we can. <laughs> no. Yes. Right. I beg your pardon. Right then, 